A little girl named Taylor, seven years old, runs up to the doorbell cam after school, not out of excitement, but rather sheer fear. No, please come open the door. Um, there's a bobcat and I want to come in. I love my mommy. You can tell by the fear in her voice and the crease in her brow that Taylor is not making this up. Unfortunately, the neighbor is not home yet, and Taylor has to wait a stressful minute until the car pulls up, worried she's going to encounter this wild cat the whole time. The car pulls up just before she really starts to cry. I'm really glad she's alright, but I worry the bobcat will return one day. If it's still lurking in the area, a man is deep in the forest of Malaysia, looking for supernatural forces that he should probably best leave alone. All he has with him is a flashlight and a camera. When he's caught in the presence of something paranormal, he records in the direction he feels the most watched and captures this freaky face between the trees. Once spotted, things go even more wrong in a scary way. Aku nak sangat berjumpa dengan kau. Hey, apa hal apa? Apa hal apa? When his light comes back on the face is even closer. A still image taken at 2 minutes and 42 seconds shows what I'm talking about. The upper half of a scary man who I think could be of the spirit realm. A YouTube channel called Adventure with Hodge goes on an urban exploration of an abandoned factory and it turns out to be one of the scariest places he has ever explored. Something feels wrong with the creepy location from the very start and they begin to wonder if this place is really abandoned after all. Weary, not gonna lie. The basement feels downright spooky with only one flashlight between them. The urban explorers are too scared to venture far, especially when they discover a creepy message spelling out their fate. You're in his home. Wonderful. I don't like that at all. We just decided to go back in the basement. We just heard something. That was loud. On the basement floor is another haunting discovery in the form of an abandoned jacket. Why would someone leave their jacket down here, Hodge wonders. I personally couldn't help but notice it's kid sized and this is certainly no place for a child. Someone scary must have taken them to this horrible location. Someone twisted and deranged. The two friends are beyond creeped out but at the same time curious enough to go exploring past the creepy warning on the wall bad decision. It's time to go. Time to go. Okay, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. I'm sorry. Somewhere in the darkness, a heavy object falls over, and the loud, scary noise they capture on tape makes them cry out in surprise and run away while apologizing. This part deserves a closer analysis because it's scary stuff indeed. They are exploring the middle of the basement, nothing within arm's reach. When an unseen object either crashes or is thrown to the ground, Hodge is holding the camera and you can see his friend's elbow right before the scary noise is caught on video, so he's standing too close. Whatever caused this unexplained event can't be them. Plus, listen to how he later describes this creepy encounter caught on tape. Majority of the video, we were exploring the basement of this abandoned factory. We kept hearing noises, felt like something was following us, and lo and behold, something followed us and we were chased out the basement. I see no signs that he's lying, no deceit in his eyes, only enthusiasm at the thought of having a scary and maybe even paranormal encounter caught on tape, so I believe this creepy video is as real as he says. Thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers next. Thank you.